If I didn't have this happening right here, either myself or a member of my team would be spending approximately 10 to 15 minutes every single week doing a manual data entry. This is going to be an interesting start to this video, but hear me out. The biggest lesson that I've learned since becoming a mom is that time is my most precious resource. It is for all of us. It's the same. But after becoming a mom, I realized that I'm going to have much less time to allocate to my work, which means I need to have better systems, better tools in place. I need to work smarter not harder and I know we all need to do this but as a mom you just need to do this at an extra level and I know moms do get me when they watch my videos but what this really meant for me is that I need to save as much time from manual work manual labor and I either need to outsource the work I need to either implement systems and I just need to make it a priority to only focus on the very relevant very important tasks that absolutely need my attention and my active involvement so what this means is if I have repetitive tasks so think of tasks like data entry or reposting something that I posted on a certain channel to another one or that type of thing so some tasks can be outsourced to another person but there are some other ones that are repetitive tasks that don't really require anyone to be actively involved and working on it and they can be automatically run or be managed by the amazing technology that we have today so Clearly, there is an abundance of productivity hacks and tips on the market. Everyone talks about how to be more productive, how they're having the most productive day in the world. But there's this other thing that we could be doing and that I feel not many people really talk about it. And that's automation and business. That's exactly what this video is going to be about. I'll be talking to you about Integromat, a business automation tool that I've started using recently. And so far, I'm finding a lot of benefit in using it. And I'm sure that once I get to use it more and more in the long run I'm going to find even more benefits because I'll figure out other tasks that I could have automated and haven't even thought about it before and this video is kindly sponsored by my friends at Integromat but as you know whenever I do reviews it's always my honest opinion so I talk about the benefits the futures and the review in general but I also talk about the negative sides of using this tool or my suggestions or feedback or things that make it challenging to use for different levels of users so I'll be talking about all of those things but eventually I think you'll get a lot of benefit from this video because you'll realize that business automation is really something very simple to implement into your business processes or even life as well. I mean, you could really hack your life through this too. It can really simplify a lot of tasks for you. It can really take off the lift from your shoulders. So without further ado, let's just skip to my screen and I will start sharing my review with you. All right, welcome to my screen and we're looking at my Integromat dashboard right now. What I'd like to show you primarily is that you can either start to build scenarios from scratch. So if you already know what type of scenario or what type of integration can really save you time, then you can go ahead and create a new scenario from scratch and you can take a look at all the different integrations Integromat has with different tools that you may be using for your business. Scroll through and see all the different tools that really apply to you and that you think you could create integrations or create scenarios from. So this is one option. However, when I'm working with any type of tool, I like to instead go to templates and scroll through the pre-created, pre-existing templates that are also scenarios, by the way. Don't get stuck with the different terminology that I'm using. Each one is a scenario. We have a bunch of templates here and I personally started from this place because I wanted to get inspired in terms of what things, what integrations I could do for the business and that could save me time. And I think this is a good starting point to be honest. You can scroll through all the different templates that exist in Integromat using all kinds of tools and the list is actually very very long so we won't look at all of them clearly but there are some things that I feel could be really really helpful for a lot of businesses a lot of cases really like this one for example. If you're using Shopify as your e-commerce store then you could want to create a list or an archive of the order that you get in a Google spreadsheet because it's always a great idea to keep data in spreadsheets as well and to kind of keep it in your own organization or filing system so that was one that attracted my attention there were a lot of other ones the ones that 
connect the project management tools with Google Calendar or Slack. Those were also a couple of my favorites as well. So there were a couple that use Asana or Trello. For example, every time you create a Trello item in a board, it can automatically create a Google Calendar a reminder or an event for you and many, many different options. So if you feel that this could be something interesting to you, then I definitely recommend starting to check out the different integrations and see if you're actually using the tool that you could integrate within Integramat and make your life easier. And once you take a look at the integrations and once you feel that this could be really beneficial for your business, then what I suggest doing is to start a free trial. There's actually a free plan that you can continue forever. So you can just stay on the free plan if that appeals for you. And we'll have the details on the screen right here. But if you think that's good enough for you, then you can forever stay on the free plan. If you wanna see more features, I think the standard plan is a better one and in that case, I will actually leave a link in the description box and the comment section below for you to have a free one month trial of the standard plan, which I think is a really good option by the way. So if this seems like something interesting to you, I highly recommend checking out the link and signing up for a free trial for the standard plan. So now I want to take a look at the scenarios that I've already built for myself. So this one, I actually really love this one because this has been something that uh, really doesn't need my attention or really doesn't need anyone's attention in my team either. It's just this thing that we had to do and it took about 10 to 15 minutes every single week to just get this task done. And it's a very trivial one. It's not a difficult one, but it needs to get done. So when I saw this integration with the Google Sheets and MailChimp, I was super happy because how this benefits me is that I have a private Facebook group. So whenever there's a new request to join the group, every time that happens, we record the data into Google Sheets. And at the end of every single week, we actually import those contacts and put them into MailChimp. So what I did is to connect that Google Sheet that I have to my MailChimp, MailChimp account and every time we update the Google Sheet, it actually automatically updates and imports those contacts into MailChimp. And the good thing is that it doesn't only import them as a general subscriber, but it also enables you to tag them with the right tag. So whenever I put the Facebook group tag with that contact, I actually have an automation within MailChimp that automatically sends them an email. So it triggers that email. And because I'm able to add the tag to the subscribers as well, Oh. I don't have to touch that anymore. So this is going to happen automatically every single week once I do it. So a couple of things that I want to share with you in terms of how the integration happens. So this was a template. So I just basically said I want to use a template. And then what happens is you have to connect your account. So connect your Google account or connect that Google sheet to be more precise and connect your MailChimp account so that you give access to Integramat to be able to read the data and transport that data into a different tool. A couple of things that I'd love to comment in terms of the user experience is I did not find it very intuitive. So the tool has a lot of capabilities and it really integrates with a lot of services. But when it comes to user experience, I would prefer to be more intuitive, more easier. And I get it when the capabilities are very advanced. Sometimes it's difficult to put all of that information in a very concise format, but it really helps the users in my opinion. So so here's a couple of things that I want to show you. So if you wanted to edit the integrations that you have here, you basically have to click on it. And I personally think it's not very obvious to click on that button right there to be able to open the settings. So this is how I open the settings. I can change anything over here and I can also do the advanced settings as well. But also one more thing that wasn't very clear to me, to be honest, is that you can also right click and you can also access the settings through doing a right click. And then also a couple more setting options that I think are very important. So you can say run this module only, choose where to start. And this one was important because I wanted to do this manually and what this brings up is the different rows that I have in that spreadsheet. So I was able to choose a start from this instead of do the whole thing all over again. And even if it did that, it wouldn't be a very big problem because what MailChimp does is it either adds or updates the subscriber. So if the subscriber already exists in my CRM, then it would only update if there was anything to update. Anyway, so that's just a little comment there, but then if you want to see if it actually works, then you would click on run once. And then one more thing that I, again, did not find very intuitive, 
I mean, you could think differently, but this is just my experience. I would have thought that once I made changes, the system would actually automatically save my changes. But instead, you actually need to come down here and similar to a Word document or a presentation in the old days, you kind of have to click save. So unless you click save, it does not save your changes. So you need to do this. And then you also make sure that this is on before I've done this it was actually like this so you would see the off button so you just need to turn this toggle on and make it on that's a couple of like I guess feedback or suggestions in terms of the user experience there hey guys this is Lily from a couple days later I wanted to show you something so I received a couple of emails from Integromat saying that I've encountered an error in creating MailChimp subscribers from the Google Sheets that I showed you so I went into what happened and I I realized that I needed to actually pay attention to something important and I want to show you this as well. So I went into Integromat to see where exactly the scenario went wrong or where I made the error. And what happens is after three consecutive errors, the scenario actually deactivates itself. So I went into the scenario, saw the error and the error is actually that I haven't selected update existing subscribers in the MailChimp settings area. So that's what I needed to do. And I'm going to show you how to do that and so that you also pay attention to this the thing is that um, the settings are very advanced like there are many many options and in case you skip to uh, make that setting like to actually uh, set it right for yourself then you can encounter errors so I just wanted to share that with you as well let me show you my screen so I can tell you how to fix it okay so this is my screen I just go into MailChimp uh, click on this so the settings open up for me Okay, so what I forgot to do is, if I scroll down a little bit, I forgot to actually click this one. So create a new customer or update an existing one. I thought I had clicked it, I didn't. Now that I click it, if there are any existing subscribers already in the MailChimp list, then it will only update and it will actually not encounter an error. So that's a quick fix, just wanted to show you that. And that's a wrap. Thank you so much for watching this video. If you liked it, don't forget to smash that like button for me and subscribe to the channel for more videos like this one. And I'll see you in the next one. Take care guys, bye bye.